We've seen that when the field effect transistor is operating in the saturation region, the current through the transistor is independent of VDS. And in fact, the current is proportional to VGS, the gate to source voltage, squared. As you look at this, this is a function or the, the equation of a parabola in V of, or V sub GS, offset or shifted to the right by the threshold voltage. So this is the graph of that equation for VDS greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, or in other words, in saturation. You'll notice that for VGS, less than the threshold voltage, no current flows through it. But as VGS continues to increase, the current itself then increases at a much more rapid rate. Thus, in saturation, we can use the field effect transistor to provide amplification. And in fact, we can think of the field effect transistor as a voltage-controlled current source. This model here is known as the large signal model for the uh, field effect transistor. And it clearly demonstrates the relationship of I sub D, the current flowing into the transistor, as a function of VGS. Then again, the amplification occurs because for small changes in VGS, we see larger or amplified changes in the current. But the astute observer will have noticed that there's not a linear, this, this graph is not linear. In fact, it's a square law relationship, which would, if we were to allow it, would introduce nonlinear distortion. We're going to see later on in this chapter, look at ways of, of limiting the range of movement along this curve to regions which can be approximated with a linear model.